obviously in the nursery, which you'll have seen from the previous clips that my dad and Darren's cousin um, did the paneling, which I'm absolutely in awe of. I just absolutely love how it turned out. It's exactly what I wanted for Gwyneth's room. Do you like it as well? You can spend time in this room with your little brother. Eh? <laughs> um, so yeah, the paneling is all done and there's a lot of work to be done in terms of prepping it before we can actually paint it. So. <laughs> Um, before we can actually paint it, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, yeah, we are going to go for a green on the panelling, and you'll have seen from the previous video that I had chosen some colours from Valspa, but actually I don't think the colours were quite right for this room, so I have opted for another colour, which I'm going to go for, it's another green, and it is... Oh! This crown paint called Spring Bud, and see, I mean, it's coming off a little bit later in in this video, but it's the lighter one of the two, and in natural light, it's like the perfect colour. It's exactly the colour that I wanted for Grayland's room. So, yeah, I can't wait to get those panelled bits painted in the Spring Bud colour. We need to prep the wood first, so what I'm going to do very shortly, I'm going to do this after I start on the top bit of the, the room, but I do need to like protect all of the knots or, or prime the knots or something like that in all the wood. You can see all the little knots in those bits of the wood. I need to do the filling because there's quite a lot of gaps between like the panel bit and the wood behind, and that's just because the walls they're just old, they're a bit bored, so I need to do a bit of filling. A lot of prep work to do, but I'm excited to get started. Before I do any of that though, I am going to go ahead and do like the top part. Like I said, the white bit needs redoing. There was a lot of mould like on the white bits up near the coven, so uh, that's all sorted now. I just need to repaint. There's some splits in some of the lining paper, which I need to try and fix, so fingers crossed I can do that okay. Um, there's like a bit of bubbling on the corner where the lining paper has went round the corner and um, I've never really been happy with that so I'm going to try and fix that as well. Fingers crossed that goes fine. And then um, maybe just repaint the ceiling and obviously I'll need to repaint the coping and the walls. In that corner there's like a tear in the lining paper so that needs corking up. And the first thing I'm going to do is clean this window. So in the last nursery video, um, I was cleaning the entire room, but I didn't bother cleaning this window because I wanted to, I think I just wanted to clean it when I knew I was ready to start painting. Um, I don't know why I did that. I could have probably just done it in the last video, but I think I was a bit overwhelmed with the monstrosity of that room. So yeah, I'm going to do that one. I've got some... Mould and Mildew by Astonish to try and get them a bit more white and that's going to get a fresh coat of white paint as well. That's come up a lot better than I thought it would. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. There's a bit at the top. Um, you'll not be able to see, but there's a bit at the top where it looks like there's a spider's nest. <laughs> so I'm gonna get down to do that bit, but the rest is all cleaned. And I'll clean down the window once Darren's done that top bit, because no point doing the window if Darren's just going to spill stuff from the top so the window will get cleaned once he's done that but oh no it's not a bad job and then I can paint it white again 
make it look nice and fresh and clean. Right, next job is to cork that little gap there. It's just where the lining paper's kind of split. And then there's these two holes, which I need to fill. So I'm gonna pull them plugs out and get them filled. So sorry if you can hear the wind outside and sorry if you can hear grilling pinging on but this is the progress so far I've just went round and filled in all of like the little holes and that needs a bit more quick but um any of the joints sanded them down and I was attempting to cork like in between you can see I've corked it but it just doesn't look like it's corked well enough. So I've given up the ghost with that one and I'm going to get Darren to cork all of these when he comes back from work. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just paint the ceiling, coven and the white bit up there. Get it all fresh, sand the rest of these bits and then we can prime the wood once Darren's done all the corking. Great learn! <laughs> Good then. Woo! Right, it's a new day, although you can't tell because it doesn't look like much has changed, but I have actually sanded down everything, I've corked all the gaps and you can see I've put some knot and solution on all of the knots on the wood. So now we can go ahead and put the undercoat on, let that dry and then we can start painting it. What I will do is save you from watching me paint this all white because no one likes to say things being painted white but I will show you when I paint it green.
So the carpet fit guys coming today. So this is the last look before the carpet goes in. Graylin is full of the lurgy today, aren't you? You had a tough night last night with all those snutters up your nose, eh? Didn't you? <laughs> is mummy busy doing your room up? <laughs> is she busy doing your room up? <laughs> so this is the room so far. Carpet's down, panelling's painted and I've just put up Graylin's like set of drawers where all of his clothes and bits and bobs are going to go hopefully this will be enough to host all of his clothes because we don't have any wardrobe space in this room we do have a wardrobe but it's currently housing the boiler i don't know if i can open this so it's just got the boiler in at the moment but i'm thinking some of these pipes are obsolete so we'll get rid of those pipes these ones i think have to stay down here but I'm thinking of building some kind of like box here to cover the wires, maybe go up to just underneath the boiler and then have that as a bit of like 
either a wardrobe space with a hanger and I can hang some clothes in it or just use it as general storage space but yeah we don't really have a wardrobe at the moment hence why we have got a big set of drawers for now now I'm gonna attempt to build the cot Graylin mummy's gonna attempt to build a cot and there's a couple of things which are going in his room I was just trying them out for size above his drawers last night but yeah I'm gonna put a few pieces together after I have done the cot <laughs> I forgot to say that these drawers are the Jimenez drawers, they're the larger one of the two and I think the smaller one comes about here and I just didn't think that was going to be enough space to get things done on there so that's why I got the third eight drawer Jimenez. Jimenez? Sounds funny when you say it, Jimenez. And the cot that we got is the very, very popular um, Signa, Signa. <laughs> Obviously, a pro at these IKEA names, but yeah, it's the cheapest cot from IKEA, and it's one of the most popular cots from IKEA, and I just thought it would go extremely well in this bedroom. Sniggler, Sniggler. <laughs> his Snigler cot in situ and then above it we'll have some kind of artwork or mural there and then his Jimenez drawers and then baby fast asleep <laughs> what you think <laughs> yeah Whoops! Okay guys, so this is Graylin's room so far. I am absolutely in love. Do you know when you've got a vision and it's like actually coming to life? Well, that is his room right now. So I've had this vision for this room for a long time now. Like I would actually say before I became pregnant, I was looking at nursery ideas and, and I was accumulating all different ideas. And ultimately this is the general like theme I wanted. I wanted nice neutral colors, 
the Jimenez drawers are standard, the Snigler cot is standard. I absolutely love this rocking chair. I was very tempted for a like a soft cushion rocking chair, but actually this was on discount and I love it. I will link everything below. Um but once everything <laughs> I'm trying to keep out the <laughs> trying to keep out the screen because I look a bit rough today. In fact I look rough all the time, but in particular today. <laughs> um, once I get everything furnished, like I'll get the books put in, all the furnishings, um, all the decorations, then it'll obviously be a lot more colourful. Obviously the main colour in here is green, which is a crown paint called Spring Bud. And then we've got the cream carpet, but once I've done a few furnishings and have everything up, this room is going to have a bit more colour, which is obviously great for a baby. Babies need colour. As much as I love, like, neutral accessories, you know what I'm like for coloured walls. I've got a pink bedroom. I've got a blue living room. I've got a blue kitchen. We now have a green nursery. But once we actually get some colour in here, it's going to be really good for the baby's sensory. Graylin's going to get a lot of fun out of this room. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to keep it as neutral as possible, but then have those pops of colour. So, yeah. You are all going to have to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell if you want to see how I furnish this bedroom. I am going to be doing a nursery tour slash nursery reveal. So, if you want to see how this bedroom turns out, then you are going to have to subscribe and hit the notification bell. To be notified when that video is going to be live on the channel. I will go into detail about all the furnishings and furniture in that video so yeah make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Take care, bye! <laughs>